Hi everybody and welcome to Homemade by Bruno. I'm your host Janine Bruno and today we are going to be making a ramp pistachio pesto with lemon and thyme. So if you haven't already heard, it's ramp season and a ramp is a wild leek and it has a very oniony and garlicky flavor. They're very pungent and I'm gonna balance that out with some lemon juice, lemon zest and pistachios. So to get started, I'm gonna separate the leafy part from the bulbs, and I'm gonna blanch them in boiling water. And it's gonna bring out a very vibrant green color. So we've separated the leafy part from the bulbs, and I'm gonna actually just chop up the bulbs roughly, and they're gonna go in the food processor. So there's two ways to make pesto. You can use a mortar and pestle, like the old world way, and we can use a food processor. So if we were in Sicily, sitting around the table with my family, we would 100% be using this mortar and pestle. But I'm gonna show you both ways. I'm gonna show you with a food processor, because a lot of you might have that at home, or if you have a powerful blender, that would work as well. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one lemon, and I'm gonna squeeze them the fresh juice right into the mixture, and then I'm going to zest it at the end. I also have some Bronte pistachios. These are from Sicily. In Sicily, these are called green gold. They have a very sweet aroma and a very vibrant color green. And I have some thyme. So I'm actually going to put the thyme right into the pesto and also garnish it, the pasta with it. And then I have some Parmigiano Reggiano and Pecorino Romano. You could use one or the other. Some people just like to use the Parmigiano. I like to use both, but I favor the Pecorino Romano because it has a very nice salt content. Lastly, I'm going to use a very high quality extra virgin olive oil. So you could use any type of pasta you'd like. I preferably like something like a fusilli, a buziate, something that's a little twisty because it holds onto the pesto really nicely. So I've made some fresh buziate. Um, this is a shape that is native to Sicily. It's made with an iron rod and I feel like it goes the best with pesto. So I'm just going to quickly shape the buziate with a metal rod and get that ready for the pesto. The beautiful thing about fresh pasta is it not only tastes delicious, it only takes two minutes to boil. So depending on the type of thyme you have, you can just chop it up or you would actually, if it's like a thick stem, you would remove the leaves and put that in. So we're gonna start building our pesto. Okay, so for the pesto that we're going to do in a food processor, I'm going to first add my pistachios. Just get them going. They're already a bit coarse. I'm gonna add in nice amount of the ramps. We're going to grate freshly Pecorino Romano and Parmigiano Reggiano. I like the combination of both, but this is a total personal preference. Okay. I'm going to add the bulbs. And I'm going to add the thyme. We have our lemon juice. And then lastly, we're gonna add our high quality olive oil. Again, this is a personal preference. I am going to put a decent amount in. And that's it. You have this vibrant, green, delicious. Mm, that's really good. It's very lemony. This is a perfect springtime dish. Take advantage of the wild ramps. The lemon gives it a nice, citrusy flavor and the pistachios just really mellow out the pungent ramps. It's just a really beautiful combination. In the mortar and pestle, we're gonna start the same way. We're going to put our little bit of pistachio and I'm gonna start breaking them down first, getting the oils out. These are the blanched uh, ramp leaves. You can add a little lemon zest too. We're gonna add it at the end, but it doesn't hurt to add it here. I'm going to remove the leaves from the thyme. 
break some cheese. And we're going to get our olive oil. So we're gonna get our pasta boiled. I'm gonna boil it right in the water that I blanched the leeks in. It might have a little green tint, but it's gonna look really nice. So I have my buziate, and I'll be right back. So in my bowl, I'm going to add a nice bit of the pesto. And I'm gonna grab my pasta, a little bit of pasta water, and put it all together. So we have our pasta. So I'm just gonna to toss this all together. It smells really good. Okay, so it's all mixed together. I'm gonna to top with some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano, some lemon zest. Garnish it nicely with some thyme and perfecto. So my produce guy is here. He provided all this produce. I want to invite him on set. So Marcello's family has been in the produce business for over a hundred years and they started in neighborhoods providing to families and then they grew into wholesale providing to big restaurants in Philadelphia and with COVID they kind of full circle went back and started providing home delivery. So it's really exciting. I want you to tell us about it, but first I wanted you to tell me how the pasta is. It's delicious. Oh my God. Tell mm. me the flavors that you're mm. tasting. The lemon, the thyme. Mm -hmm. It like blends with the ranch. It's delicious and it's amazing. It really is good. Oh my God. I love it. Awesome. So tell yeah, everybody, go ahead, finish it. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody um, a little bit about what you're doing with home delivery and how they can find you. Well, you can check us out on Instagram or um, our website, JordanaGardenGrocery.com, and you'll see our trucks running around the city, and everybody's always welcome to stop by the farm down in Hamilton, New Jersey. And mm, blueberry. Take a look. Check us out. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Delicioso. Buon appetito.